Listen. Last year, I was taken by some beings called Trophamadorians to their planet, where I was examined and exhibited in a zoo. There they taught me many important truths, especially about the fourth dimension of time. Trophamadorians? Yes, and they communicate using telepathy. But the special thing is, they could see in four dimensions. All moments, past, present, and future always have existed and always will exist. That a moment follows another one, and that once a moment is gone, it is gone forever. It's just an illusion we have here on Earth. They can look at all the different moments just the way that we can see a stretch of the Rocky Mountains, for instance. They can see how permanent all the moments are, and they can choose a particular moment which interests them. And that explains so much about my own time traveling. I've been unstuck in time since the war. So Mr. Pilgrim has gathered quite a lot of attention recently. Any ideas to why people are so interested in him? Well, Billy fits the characteristic of a typical alien abduction believer, but in some ways he is unique. How? Well, the story about him being kidnapped and examined and the forced sex thing, that's not very unusual. And even the thing about aliens telling him the truth about time, that's not very new. But the thing about him being unstuck in time, however, that's a bit different. For example, the thing about people's memory, I really don't understand why everyone's so interested in my father. I think the tension just makes everything worse. I need to go get ready for school if you'll excuse me. Hey, wait, 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 we still need to ask. Last year was tough for all of us. There was that awful plane crash where dad got hurt and my grandpa died and my mom had to go kill herself with the car. And I was all by myself. Robert is at a college and dad couldn't even make it to the funeral. So I took care of that, I'm only 15. I don't know why Barbara is so upset about that. The most important thing I learned on Chalfamador is that when a person dies, she only appears to die. She is still very much alive in the past. So it is very silly for people to cry at a funeral. The plane crashed, people died, my father died, my wife as well, so it goes. They are in a bad condition, dead, in this particular moment, but in all the other moments, they are just fine. Fine? He said that? What's up with him? All this trafama, trafama dose stuff? I thought it was the medication at first, you know? But now... It's freezing in here! You're gonna kill yourself if I'm not here! The war messed us all up, but I think Pilgrim was messed up more than the rest of us. He was screaming, kicking so much that none of us wanted to sleep near him. And we were at the highway, the highway of death. They were just sitting ducks. It was a massacre. The bombs dropping, the bullets firing. It was a firestorm out there in that stretch of the desert. And after it was finished, all the burned out tanks and buses and blackened corpses like little logs just lying there. The sun was an angry little pinhead and the desert was like Mars, all empty and desolate. Everyone deals with him differently. I try not to think about it much. Pilgrim sees aliens. Another one I know is trying to write a book on it. He's been trying for a decade now. And who's that? How's the view from there? Yeah. It's pretty good. You see anything interesting? No. Just brings back memories, really. What kind of memories? You know, the ones when I was here with Rosewater. It was definitely the war, all right. We were in, def we were in different regiments during the war, so I didn't 
actually know him until we got here in the hospital. Chucked himself, oh, Billy chucked himself in. Good thing. He thought he was going crazy. And the doctors kind of agree. Don't know the jargon. He's obviously. Kisty? Yeah, I think so. Well, anyway, and I was here because, well, I got into the like, cops after the war. Yeah, and well, eventually he got himself fixed, married that fiance with his girl, and I never managed to keep the habit and became a repeat visitor. But, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, what we shared was, well, apart from rooms and... What? You guys shared rooms? No, 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 sorry. We didn't share rooms. Like, we shared the same floor, the same one. But we were mostly in the lounge, so it seemed like we were sharing rooms. Sorry, my memory these days is highly unreliable. Oh, that's alright. But, uh, yes, where was I? You keep cutting me off track. You were talking about your sh sharing rooms? Well, not, not dorms. Yeah, we were in the same ward, and what we sh also shared was that we both found life utterly without meaning after the war, after what we'd seen, all those fires. I ended up introducing him to sci fi and I love you. You're trapped. No, but as cameras up, just weren't enough anymore. So she wrote like 75 novels, 100 short stories or something. <laughs> yeah, but I've got almost all of them. Almost all of them. Like, why'd you buy this stuff? I mean, Amazon or what? Um, now you can get them on Amazon. On Amazon, really? Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cheap too. It's like a dollar fifty or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the price is crap. God, the woman she can't write to save her life, but her ideas, she could be president of the world. Wait, I'm sorry, Trout. You don't, you don't know her? Theodore Trout? Sci-fi writer? Um, woman? No, I don't think so. This doesn't ring any bells. Huh. Well, her ideas are just great. I mean, sure, she kind of focuses on America and all, but they definitely changed my life. And I was hearing about the details about Billy. I'm pretty sure they definitely changed his life too. Oh, we talked about lots of stuff really. Hmm. For example, um, yeah, Trout. We used to always talk about her books. Yeah, it used to interest us a lot. I first met Billy Two years ago, I was directing those lazy kids in delivering newspapers when he came up to me. I was flabbergasted that anyone even knew I wrote books. Getting some more attentions these days though, so that's cool. He invited me to his wedding anniversary party and we became, well, friends I suppose. He so into a time window then, so into the past or future. He looked white as a sheet and went upstairs right after, didn't come down. And he didn't, didn't he? That's why he's talking about all this time and aliens now. Cause he saw it. I've always known about time wars and all, but now, now he's the evidence. So, if you could describe Billy Pilgrim with one word, what would it be? Well, I can tell you what he's not. He's not a crazy, although there are lots of factors to it. He's no more strange than your yoga enthusiast, artist, Hollywood actors, or my family. Uh, a broken man? Just another one of us coping with the war. Someone who's managed to find meaning in his life. Enlighten! I, William Pilgrim, will die, have died, and always will die on February 13th of I see violent light and a hum. There's no one here, not even Billy Pilgrim. <laughs>